My name is Lily Froelich. I was seen on Broadway in the revival of Cats, and most recently I was on the national tour of Hamilton for a couple of years until the pandemic hit. I want to take you on a little tour of some of the things in my apartment that I use and implement to reduce my carbon footprint. Um, some of the green eco-friendly things that I like to do on the everyday. So, would you like to take this journey with me? Follow along. What do we love in the fall more than a steaming hot cup of tea in the evening with a beautiful burning candle glowing in the distance? Probably nothing. However, I noticed I spent so much money on candles and I had trouble recycling the thick, beautiful glass containers they come in because of the wax. I couldn't get the wax off. So I started to make my own candles. Um, as you can see here, we have exhibit A um, and my unmade bed. Um, this, mm, we have a lovely cedar wood, peppermint, grapefruit moment. Basically, I just ordered some soy wax flakes. I took recycled jars. This was a salsa jar. I think they, this was an olive jar, something like that. Took recycled jars, soy wax flakes, got a little wick in there, and um, you put essential oils in there. You, you heat it up, find a recipe online, solid. Now all I do is I take jars I would already have in my fridge, and before I recycle them, I wash them really well so that you get all the smells out, and then you make a beautiful candle. And then I can re reuse this jar, these jars again, to make more candles. I'm saving money and I'm helping the planet. Speaking of my unmade bed, I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you about this beautiful alternative down comforter that I have. It's so soft and so squishy. It is from the company Buffy. I don't know if any of you have heard of this, but the, the material inside to make it fluffy is made from recycled water bottles, okay? And guess what, I was nervous about that. You know, I was like, I'm gonna be sleeping, there could be some smells released that are bad for me. No, 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 no. This is the best comforter of all human time. It is not only good for my psyche and my sleeping, but also good for the planet. Next, we're moving to my bathroom where I have a few things to talk about. A razor um i have some old dead plastic guys this one was a recycled plastic one um from preserve which are totally fine if you if you gotta get some on the go preserve they're recycled plastic cool 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 however um i really wanted to stop using all these disposable razors and even the nice ones that they're still made of plastic so i got a safety razor it's like rose gold and it's cute um from, you can find these on any of the like eco-friendly websites. Just type in eco-friendly razor, safety razor. It comes up, it has one blade and you just buy the single blade. Re they come in like packets of like 50, but you put it in there. I'm not, now I'm not gonna lie to you. When you use these, shaving becomes a different thing. It becomes a slow, intentional practice or else you will slice your entire leg to shreds. Secondly, I want to talk to you about my shampoo and conditioner, which I buy from Lush. You buy these little tins, no more plastic bottles, okay? Tins that I've had these for years now, and you just buy the soap, the shampoo and conditioner bars, and they work really well. My hair looks clean, I think it looks clean, um, but I only also wash it like once or twice a week. That's all you need. People stop washing your hair every day. It's bad for your hair. It strips your hair of oils that it needs, okay? So like reduce the water usage and reduce the plastic by getting these cute little tins and bars from Lush or they have them at Whole Foods as well. Now we're in my kitchen. There are a few things here that we need to discuss. A, paper towels. We don't need them. Guess what? We've got dish rags. We've got washcloths. I can take, you know, whatever cleaning product I have. This, which I also have 
this little, yes, this is in plastic, but we're, we're starting somewhere here. Someday I'll make my own, but this is concentrate. I'm going to have the, these two bottles for literal years and we don't need paper towels. We, we just spritz, spritz, wipe, wipe, wash, wash. Also for eating purposes, bye-bye napkins. Bye-bye. We just buy a bunch of little cloth napkins, even for your guests. Look, I've got tons of them. Just tons. Look down in this drawer. Tons of things. All my guests can have their own little napkins and I'll just wash them. And it's fabulous, okay? It's a fabulous thing. Let's talk coffee. The best part of the day, I would say. Here's my little guy right here. The Chemex, Chemex, whatever. I used to, years ago, have filters, right? But now we have this little washable guy. No more coffee filters. You just dump these out, give it a rinse, fill her up with water, coffee. That's all you need. And finally, let's talk food. I just started shopping with Imperfect Foods, which takes groceries from the grocery store that would otherwise be thrown out because they are imperfect. They, um, they are bruised. They're, slightly bruised or a little misshapen, you know, things like that. They take those, which would otherwise be thrown away. They send them to you, you buy them. They're cheap, okay, so you're saving money and you're reducing waste. They're not, they're perfectly fine. Only one time I got a bell pepper and I was like, oh, it's so cute, because it's so weird looking. But other than that, really good. There's, so there's imperfect foods and it delivers to your door. I don't go anywhere. It delivers to your door in a cardboard box that you recycle. Amazing. There's also misfit foods. There's a few different uh, routes you can go for these misshapen, beautifully fine foods that you can get delivered to your house. Thank you for going on that apartment tour and journey with me. It is so important that we put the climate and our earth first because without without it we'll be dead so it won't matter what else we're fighting for of course we're all, we're all fighting for so many things right now they're all extremely important but if the climate is not put first nothing else matters um i'm gonna attach a list of some gift ideas for the holidays because i think it's important that we shop from not only sustainable places, but places with a mission. If you like Four Ocean, every bracelet you buy or every little item you buy, they take a pound of trash out of the ocean. Um, there we have 100 cameras, which I actually have a picture up here, the hands. They give cameras to kids all over the world um, to start their own photography. And they sell the, the photographs and that puts money into the communities, into underserved communities. Um, we have Sudara, which employs women, formerly sex trafficked women in India, and they make beautiful garments. Um, and then Bombas, which are socks, and they're the best socks in the world. And every pair you buy, they give a pair to a homeless shelter because you're not allowed to, you have to have new socks and underwear and undergarments. Um, at, at shelters and for donations. They don't accept, obviously, used ones. So Bombas is amazing. And finally, Pila case, which you can't see, but my cell phone is in right now. Um, they are compostable cell phone cases. I've had it on my phone for years. It has saved my phone from all of the damage. Can't recommend them highly enough. So thank you so much for listening to this extremely long uh, video. Um, have a wonderful day and let's fight for this planet and our lives.